Hey guys, Vivi Chan here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to continue with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 19 or Episode 107. And uh, last week, it looks like we skipped or we delayed the episode due to Olympics being in Tokyo. But uh, yeah, it was only like two or three weeks Olympics, just like flew by. I enjoyed watching track and field, swimming, gymnastics, like those are just a couple of my favorite sports to watch i guess i didn't i didn't watch any like you know actual like actual sports i just watched those that are like aesthetically pleasing or just quick anyways uh off topic we're gonna get back to the episodes yeah we have like i believe we have six episodes left i'm just wondering how they're going to like conclude this art because i feel like it's leading to something big and then it's like how do they finish off well so it's like a tease a climax because season six is gonna be crazy like this season not over and i'm thinking like season six like this war is gonna be like wild insane no idea okay okay stop rambling let's get into the episode just really excited Yeah, I kind of feel for Endeavor though, man. Like, I think mom's gonna have to fix this. Thing is gonna be alright. Oh, whoa, it's alright. Everything now we're here. <laughs> okay, yeah, like I said, Endeavor, man, he just wants to atone in this like desolate, empty house. Man, that's a. Uh... Yeah, I know the sister, she's not like totally forgiven the dad either, but what she really wants is just like all the family together and happy. She just wants to go back to family time. Did they have family time? Because like even when like before, yeah, Endeavor was like even worse, you know. So I don't, she just wants, you know, happy family time with the um, mom and dad. Maybe she never got it. Maybe this is just like a dream of hers and yeah, and I can definitely understand uh, the big brother Natsu's feelings. Like, you can't force someone to forgive. They have to feel it on their own because we don't know what they've been through. And uh, you can't just uh, be like a typical show and be like, okay, he saved him and then forgive. Well, Endeavor didn't even save him because I like that he was thinking about his son's feelings. But in that moment, it's like, is it the right choice to not save his son? Because I don't think he wants his son to feel like he owes him yeah that's the big part like thank god like Todoroki not Todoroki they're all Todoroki Shoto, Deku, and Bakugo was there to like save the day man I can't wait till they're in their second years they're still third years first years third term three months remain It's been a while, Ida Kun. Briefing session. Okay. <laughs> you know, you gotta brag a little bit. Ground alpha. <laughs> it's weird because we're in like June um and then August already. <laughs> Whoa, Ida, that confidence, damn, man. Yeah, I thought Bakugo was gonna go off like, I, 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 I beat Endeavor, like I got in front of him. That's a comedian to staff room. Hmm? I guess it's like, a little different but like to me it just looks like her usual outfit so i gotta like double check later yeah and i, and I know we mentioned it they mentioned it when we saw the uh filler episode huh a doll of all might oh that's hers
Oh, she got the Deku's present. That's why she's so excited. That was Deku's gift for her. Girl. Let's get it. Let's see it. Hand back to Deku. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this feels so different than in the locker room. I'm just like thinking back to like back in school days. Wow. Oh, Baku goes. <laughs> he threw that. That's actually a piece. <laughs> oh my god, you still got it on. Huh? Wait, this is a, this is canon episode? Was he making cotton candy? Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Oh, I see the pun. Cause he likes to say, Watashi wa guitar, and then it sounds like the cotton candy wagashi. I know wagashi is a type of candy, I think. That's just a pun. I don't know how they translated it because it doesn't sound funny, but I get it, the Japanese pun. You know, it's already calmed down. Whoa, 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 he's so nervous. They're going in for a fight? What? What? Someone died? Whoa, the tone just... But there's people in there. Before there were. Artificial humans or something else. Please keep this short. Oh, the uh, the guy with the shigaraki. What's his the ghost? Uh, what's his name? I can't remember. He's been shut off. Kurogiri, that's his name. One of their classmates was changed. Wow, they delayed that title. Man, I like this guy's attitude already.
shit, man. That is scary. Who knows who else are like that? That is such a scary, creepy feeling. Yeah. Oh my God, who else? Oh. Yeah, I'm like Aizawa, just... Yeah, I don't think there's any reversing this. Yeah, Kurokiri was definitely, like, he had his own personality, so maybe they could making more of similar to Kurokiri. They brought them there, so maybe it would awake something in their friend. Flip, they gotta do this dirty job. Yeah. Yeah, but they wouldn't bring him there if it wasn't necessary. Well, I never seen one for Aizawa, I think. I think we've seen a present mic one, but not for Aizawa. I don't remember if Kurogiri even talked to Aizawa in the first season. Is the first season the USJ thing? Yeah, because Kurogiri was near the gate while it was Shigaraki with Aizawa. Oh. Man, Presento Mike's eyes is just like insane. He can't believe. Man, how they deformed his body. He don't want to believe this. Duty that like clicked something. Oh, those were his goggles. 
all matching goggles. Oh, this is the flashback. The people who expelled comes back stronger because they know what to fix. Two it has a black mark on their record. Expel and re enroll. Yeah, that's smart. I don't know, I get like huge Kakachi vibes right here. Exactly, you don't want someone to die. Has he blinked? Bam. Whoa, that was so emotional. It's so dry, eh?
Damn, and then this theme that's playing right now. The uh, all for one theme. Mm, he got the key word. Yeah, and this is that sick doctor, right? That, uh, wait. Wait, what? what? What's going on with Shiga? What the flipping heck? He, oh, what the flip is that? Bam. Um, well, where do we even start with this episode? Man, this is... Whoa, like the beginning, I thought it was just gonna focus on, like, the the classroom time stuff. I never thought it would get, like, we're in it now. Like, I think this is the stuff people are talking about, right? That they wanted to get that dark. They want this part. Like, I don't know if this part was supposed to happen before or afterwards, because I know they skipped an arc. And I know that's why a lot of people were angry. Yeah, because they went from the Christmas party to the agency when we sh should have had another arc. Which I don't even know, but um, I heard that that arc was supposed to build up to the Liberation Army. So I don't know how they're going to mix it all together and whatnot. So, but I'm feeling it now. Like the tone and theme of this episode was like, yeah, so dark. And I, it just flew by. I'm like, it's like, what? That was 20 minutes? Too fast, man. Man, for Aizawa and uh, Iresa had to see their friend turned into this monster. Like, his death has been defiled. And then, yeah, like, here's the thing. When their friend, i oh, sorry, I don't even remember their friend's name. When their friend died, it's they took the body. So the body is already dead or it's like barely alive and changed. There's a preview. Back in time. Okay, okay, we're going back. Holy crap! Oh, shit! My villain act- What? What did they say? Did I read that right? Next time, my villain academia. What? <laughs> what did I? Okay, 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 okay. People, people were in it. Oh my god, <laughs> man! Oh man, that preview though. But let's just like go back to the beginning. We got the preview for the last episode, so I thought they were gonna kind of touch up on the Toroki thing, but it's just talking about the atonement and everything. And then we just go straight back into the classroom. Ida's feeling all confident, and he's like, "Hey, let's just talk about our accomplishment. Three more." weeks or terms i forgot what's the thing before they're officially second years i don't know i just feel like they've been first years for so long and i'm like they're they they're not second years yet damn and uh yeah we you know a little moment i think uraraka's like all my doll which is a gift from deku she kept and is like keeping close to her heart and it's like i didn't want anyone to see it but you know who saw it <laughs> ashido saw it and she's like because she knows what's going on yeah but i don't know if the other girls know it on, but at least like Ashido is not like, you know, like she could be telling the other people, but like, you know, she keeps just keeps it to herself and us, the audience, love to see that. And back in the boys' locker room though, like the, the little moment Bakugo threw his like headpiece or whatever his like face piece, I forgot what it's, is it like a support item he just threw at Deku and it's just like stuck on his head and then when they're like whacking by, I think like All Might made like a rhyming joke or something, candy and dandy. I guess it rhymed, but like, I guess in Japan, it's more of a pun. It makes more sense. But uh, yeah, this one just felt like a dad joke. But it's okay. I just felt bad because like, it, it just feels like, you know, All Might doesn't matter as much because they're just walking by somewhat ignoring him and he's just trying to make like a joke. Ah. 
Yeah, now that all the fun and games are done, like moving on, Aizawa gets called in. And uh, yeah, first off, we see Eraser Head and he just can't believe it. His eyes are just like widened out and he is just in total shock. He's like, I'm like, what happened? Someone died? Even worse than that, someone's body was messed with none other than their like best friend in high school. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just like the three of them and they've always, they had dream, they have goals, dreams together. And I, after, after his death, Aizawa made it his like goal to the students, they get a second chance to enroll like he don't want them to go in there in their first years and make it and then have to die he wants these heroes to like make it to like work hard at it and like live long he don't want them to die in battle and like have another person who feels the loss and man i i, I felt like they did that scene justice like the whole i know i keep talking about the tone but it just felt like so dark and scary like you know something horrible has happened yeah that emotion in aizawa's eyes his feelings like you know he kept like clamping his clamping his palm onto his face like he can't believe like he's about to throw up like this this can't be but like he's he's like aizawa's face is like holding it all in so i'm like you know it looks like he's composed but inside he's feeling everything eraser head shows everything on his face yeah because he's a more he, he's a more expressive person. The moment Aizawa gets in there and questioning him, like, you know, he starts using his, like, powers. Kurogiri, no change. Like, I'm just wondering, what the heck did that doctor and all for one do? Like, this doctor seems like mastermind? I don't know. Like, I'm just, oh, I'm also wondering. I've had this thought in my head. Like, the can all for one transfer his all for one and they have a piece of him in someone else. So maybe he could live by transferring his powers to someone. I don't know, because it's always been like someone transfers his powers to him. But I'm just wondering if he could transfer his powers, like his main power. I know he could transfer the other quirks in him, but can he transfer the his all for one power to someone? That would be crazy. Is that what he's trying to do? I, like, I'm just wondering what the heck they're doing to, like, Shigura Tom to uh, Tomura Shiguraki. Because they're like, can he be the chosen, can he be the successor, right? And they're like, I don't know, they injected some, like, twisted rod into his chest. I don't know, his hair's gone all white. I mean, it was gray before, so white is not that huge difference. But I'm like, what the heck are they doing to him? They're like, making, he's... Like, this is another one of their experience. Are they turning him into, like, a normal as well? Like, a normal all-for-one Shigaraki mixed together. This insanity right there. Uh, yeah, that's Aizawa. Like, the, the moment Aizawa, you see his eyes start, like, straining. The red just becomes, like, all over his eyes. And, like, he just starts crying and expressing. Oh, man. That, they... A plus on the emotion there like I thought it was done pretty well and you know it even yeah and this like awoken something within Kurogiri's uh real body like this is insane like the moment because I, I think they mentioned before like previous normals had like a core a human core so I wasn't too shocked to know that there was someone there I just thought Kurogiri was like an actual person with a quirk working for legal he is actually a normal crazy to think about like can they make more of him that'd be crazy and like in the preview we saw so many other types of nomu like usually the nomus are like you know the the huge bulky ones or actually no in season in season three they had the nomus of different structures with the wings with the flying the skinny type tall lanky ones so yeah there's more nomus but like this one it just felt like all different types of shapes I'm also wondering if they ever showed the childhood friend in like, uh, you know, the manga earlier or I, I know there's a vigilante manga. So was he in there? Because like for us, it's the first time seeing the childhood friend. So it's it's not as emotional, but they still managed to make it like emotional due to the pain that you could see in Aizawa's voice and his eyes. Like the moment he's like, you know, my tears, my eyes are all dried up. Yet he's like pouring down tears. That's... That's insane. I know I keep using the word dark, insane, crazy this whole, throughout this whole episode, but that's just how I feel this whole time. Yeah, and goodness gracious, my villain academia, does that mean that there is like a whole new 
maybe an underground because obviously you can't have an open an open villain school establishment right so is this villain academia like making the no moves i'm just it, i'm like I, you know I, I like it never clicked like you obviously you can have a hero academia to train heroes but you never think there'd be the villain side of academia i, I just thought they just come like vi vil villains just appear when they need something and like they gotta do it secretly yeah but to think that there's an establishment that's like training villains crazy or is it like what is the villain okay, like i'm just like blown away by this like once they mentioned my villain academia i forgot like the rest like what were they talking about because uh, I I think they showed something else in the preview, but all I can remember in that preview was the Nomus and my villain academia. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was a good thing to watch previews because I was watching previews the whole season. So I'm just excited right now. Holy crap. Man, oh man. What's to come? And even Hawks. Once he heard, like, the keyword hospital, he, he knew what to do. I guess, like, he... You know, he's explaining, like, his side of the plan. Like, how crazy it is for uh, Hawks to have, like, double plans. Like, he's got a... Well, I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if he's... I mean, Hawks' plan is to relay the information to the hero side. But I'm just wondering how he... If he's going to, like, switch sides as the, at the last moment and help the heroes. Or he's just going to keep being on the villain side until the very end. I forgot, is his name twice or whatever? The guy, the guy who could duplicate himself? Yeah, he's like, who is that? I mean, he has a very joking personality, does not seem like he'd be a villain. They were going over some plans and then he's like, who, who's that on the phone? It's like, oh yeah, you know, the, the, the heroes want me to help out. But uh, yeah, I just said no. And then he just threw his phone on the floor to show like, you know, I don't care. And like, he leaves the room with his phone on the sofa, like twice or something to like hack in there and like look at his stuff. Yeah, so he can't leave anything. He has to show them, like, you know, I'm all open. You can search me. I'm on your side. Yeah, we about to go to my villain academia. Yeah, now I'm just wondering how are they going to, like, continue with this. Man, that doctor is just insane. He seems like kind of like the mastermind. I'm just wondering if All for One gave him some kind of extra powers or it's just, like, trans... Can he... Can he transfer part of his quirk, like like I said earlier, can he transfer part of his quirk all for one into someone? So they're like partially, partially all for one as well. I, I thought it was weird that like all for one is sitting in jail, very comfortable. Because he knows like there's a plan going on. So he's not worried. He's like, oh yeah, you can capture me. I'm just, I was just waiting for like one of the villains to like break him out or something. Because he's just so not worried at all. And he doesn't even have a face. Now we know the army is coming, I guess, yeah, I, I don't even know what to think. I'm just like, I, I'm just like ready for it to happen. So bring it next week. Next week can't come any closer, can it? <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. I might read them. Just no, spo no spoilers, please. I don't read the manga. And uh, yeah, see you guys for the next reaction. Peace out.